Hi, I'm Kevin Dahani, and I'm going to show you how to make a generic sculpting armature that can be used to make things like uh, sculpting masks. Now, some people like to use um, sculpting heads and faces when they make their mask, but um, if you're going to be doing something a little bit more generic, maybe like animal faces, and you don't want to work with all the noses and, and all that that comes with um, armature heads, I'm going to show you how to make a plain and simple um, armature that can be used um, for making the masks. So what you're going to need for this uh, project is plaster of Paris, a little strip of cardboard, a very sturdy cardboard, and a balloon and some paper mache materials. So the first thing I did was I blew up the balloon and I paper mache it. I used blue Scott paper towels, they're Scott shop towels, um, instead of newspaper. I just prefer using those uh, when I do my paper mache. Um, I did two layers and then after that was dry what I did was I cut the balloon in half and I'm going to be using this half to pour the plaster of Paris in to make a generic sculpting armature. Okay, so the next step was I just took a piece of very thick uh, cardboard and I taped it to each side as sort of like a brace on this half of the balloon. I, I got the balloon to the size and the shape that I wanted. And this is just going to hold it for when I pour the plaster of Paris in uh, so the shape doesn't want to spread. Um, and next I found a really sturdy box that almost fit the dimensions and I just kind of lined it with some, with some stiff cardboard and some paper so that when I put my my form in this box and I pour the plaster in, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, there's enough cardboard and stuff around it, it's going to hold it in place uh, while I pour the plaster of Paris in here and give it the 20-30 the minutes to set. The next step is to mix the plaster of Paris and to pour it into my mold. And the next step here of mixing the plaster of Paris, I'm just using DAP plaster of Paris that I got at uh, Home Depot. And the mixture is two to one, two parts of the plaster of Paris to one part cold water. So I've got an old bucket that I'm gonna use and uh, a good stirring stick. And I'm gonna mix it up and pour it in. Okay, I've got the mixture done and I'm ready to pour. You are gonna wanna put some kind of gloves on for this. You should not get plaster of Paris on your hands, um, on your skin, it's just, uh, it's not a good idea. So here we go, ready to pour. gloves. So I am going to switch over to scooping this out with my hand. Awesome. Spreading it out in my mold evenly. And now we just have to let that set for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, well I'm waiting for the armature to dry. Little cleanup tip here. Do not, under any circumstances, rinse out your bucket and put it down any drain in your house unless you want that drain to be completely clogged by the plaster of Paris. The best tip is just let this dry. It's, I scraped it down pretty good. Any excess I scraped out into a garbage bag and threw in the garbage. Um, the rest of it for this bucket, let it dry. Once it's completely dry, all you have to do is give it a few pounds and the plaster inside will just crumble and it'll, you can scrape it right out and dump it into your garbage. My mold has been curing for a little over a half hour. It's probably been about 45 minutes. Um, so I can just take this little brace off now and just peel away. I can just actually tear it off, it's just paper mache. 
tear off the balloon part of the mold. And there we go. Awesome. So basically I have this nice flat armature that I can now um, use WED clay or any kind of clay on top of. This is a good base to do sculpting. So that's it. Very simple, very easy to make yourself a generic sculpting armature. The plaster of Paris is going to take about 48 to 72 hours to fully cure. This is not a, a huge piece, so maybe in two days it, it should be cured. Um, at that time then I'll um, just seal it, I'll paint it probably with like a, um, you know, maybe like a white or plain acrylic paint and um, some kind of varnish sealant over that a few coats just so that um, when I do use it for um, for clay making clay sculptures the clay will you know will come off of it easier after the plaster cured I decided that the armature was just a little too flat on top it had a little indentation in it um, from the weight of the plaster in the paper mache balloon that I used it the top of it turned off just a little bit flatter than I wanted so all I did was I had some cellu clay from Activa uh, which is actually pretty solid and pretty heavy so I just um, made up a, a small amount of that and just kind of coated the top surface of it rounded out the top of my armature and um, after 24 hours it's dry and hard as a rock and so I will just kind of smooth that over and then do my finishing on that and uh, the armature is done.